Right now, let's zero in on what these first phase reopenings mean for two very hard hit industries. Luis Flores is the managing partner of Saul Ewing, Arnstein and Lair. They represent hotels and restaurants. And Luis, thank you very much for joining us. Let's talk about restaurants. Is opening with limited capacity enough to bring them to life? I think so. I think it's you have to start opening to start adapting to the new world that we live in. I mean, we can all agree that the way businesses were run before the stay at home order uh, is going to be entirely different from the way they operate after the stay at home order is lifted. I expect that businesses are already preparing. I know that our clients are already preparing to reopen and, and adopting the new guidelines. I think we might see a slow reopening with the 25 percent cap. Uh, because that may not make a lot of economic sense to reopen fully at that point. They may want to have fuller staffs uh, and, and more access to people that want to come in. So a 50% cap is, might be more realistic, but I do expect that will be different depending on the type of business. If you have a big takeoff business right now, uh, you may not need to open the dining sections, but if you have a dine-in, is that the number one source of your income? That probably needs to be open next week immediately. Well, Luis, based on what you see in your practice, how do you feel about the recovery and of the retail and the hospitality industry? I mean, do you think people are going to be hesitant to go out right away, or do you think people are going to be so tired of being cooped up at home that they rush to the restaurants? I think that people are going to, to move, move a little bit slowly to begin with. I think people are really going to feed off of, of what they see in the marketplace. I think, like all of us, we all discriminate about what restaurants we go to, how we feel comfortable. I expect we'll, we are very loyal to the restaurants we go back to. And if we hear that they've adopted good policies, I think we're all going to try it out the first time, right? See how it feels. Have they done a good job? Have they adopted good guidelines? And I really feel that we're all going to give it a trial run. We're all going to be the uh, canary, canaries in the mines, uh, giving it our first shot to see how we feel when we go back to our restaurants. And I think, like I said, we're just going to adapt to the new norm and, and get used to it. Now, in talking to your clients in the hospitality business, what do you see as their priorities right now moving forward? The number one priority when we talk to our clients is the health and safety of their employees and their staff. That's where it all starts. And, and then, of course, customers go hand in hand with that. But they need to ensure that their staff and employees feel safe coming back to the business, uh, coming in to, to work at their restaurants, coming into the retail space. And as soon as that gets back into in full flow, which they're preparing this week, you should be preparing this week if you have a restaurant or retail business. Look at those guidelines. Get ready to go because people do want to come out, especially if you have outdoor spaces. That's where people are going to go to first. So I expect uh, first starts with staff and employees, understanding the guidelines, and then opening for business. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Luis Flores, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.